13.7 volts and I will call it fixed. Big 6 oh power stroke and the uh, alternator doesn't charge the battery. That's our problem today. Here's a little bit of history of this charging issue with the truck. Last night when we were driving back home, battery light came on and gauge shown very low voltage output from the alternator. We safely pulled over to the side of the road, checked the alternator voltage and it was around 11 volts. And we managed to bring the truck back home and now we're going to troubleshoot guys Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera to film that part, but you have to take my word Please subscribe to the channel and let's get started 2004 Ford F350 and before you will go and start changing parts, let's check for Input to the alternator. Make sure we have a power here. Make sure we have good ground good power yeah before you start it make sure your battery terminals are clean they're tight there's no rust crust no that green corrosion oxidation and as you can see it's all tight all clean and uh, but we're all going to check the ground anyway and uh, wires that's all will be checked when you have a charging issues, go with the basics and the first you just probably should go and check, okay, do I have a good tension on a serpentine belt and yes we have and this is just a simple pulley, there's no any clutches or anything, just a straight pulley, that's good, we know it all fine and uh, yeah, go and check the wiring, what's visible for can be touch to the metal, get shorted or open and uh, most likely it will happen under the hood. Checked those two visually. Those ones we will start with. Okay, let's check the, our battery voltage first and where we're at and uh, expect it to be low and uh, yeah, where's my multimeter and we're sitting at 9.7 flat. Okay, I won't even crank. That. And as you could see, battery is absolutely flat and yeah, glow plugs kicked in, but we're very low on power. Yep. All right. If you don't have a wiring diagram, that's fine. And uh, on top of the alternator, you see this plug and it has a two wires and this guy is coming from the junction box from the battery and if our fuse is good if we have a good wire integrity we should see the battery voltage even we know our battery is flat it has a 9 10 volts and 0.5 we should see the battery voltage on this wire i'm just trying to carefully probe this wire just uh, where the weather seal and my another lead connected to the battery negative terminal and we have 9.2 volts perfect all that good we know our fuse is good and this guy this wire this is uh, green with the red yeah red tracer is going to the instrument cluster and um, that battery light illuminated we know this wire should be good so, but let's put it here and when i turn the key to the on position we should see the voltage and uh, because it's a diesel power stroke you turn the key and it will turn the glow plugs and we have a very low voltage on the batteries we should see some activities on the multimeter we're on green red wire from the instrument cluster, ignition switch and another lead is connected to the battery negative okay, let's go turn the key and see what we have as you can see we have voltage showed up because our glow plugs are on and prime pump is running we have very low right now and uh, yeah that tells us <clears throat> that as our wire is good and we get in power let's turn it off and see ok 
key is off and we have a zero. Okay, we don't have any issues with the plug and the power going down to the alternator. And if you don't have a power on each of them, you should go and check the fuse, check the wire integrity, uh, check the relay. And uh, yeah, sometimes you can have power here, but could be the issue with the pin fitment and the um, connector issue. Check that, make sure everything's not crusty or rusty. All right, now have my test lead connected to the battery. Negative, and we're going to check the ground at the alternator. Okay, and what we have, and we have five millivolts, perfect. We don't want to see more than 100, 200 millivolts. That's good. Okay, let's go to another battery. Let's clamp to the battery clamp. And we even have better result, three, yeah. Yeah, four, perfect. All right, we have a good ground now. We should check the wire integrity. As we know, we have 9.2 volts at the battery. It's low and make sure we see the same voltage at this, this main alternator terminal. It's called the B plus and uh, we'll hooked up our probe here to this. I would say let's just hook up to the nut for now and there is a stud we will measure from the nut and from the stud but it should be the same and this one and this lead is going to the negative on a clamp and we see 9.2 volts perfect that means this wire integrity it's all good let's check our another battery and make sure we have the same yeah whether is connected in parallel to double the amperage and voltage will stay the same 12 volts and we checked we checked on both sides and uh, yeah now we can say it's an alternator issue so far and a uh, couple tests and uh, so in a perfect world, in a perfect scenario, we should have a fully charged batteries, start the truck, but we don't have that leisure and we work with what we have. Um, and truck has a 190K, as you can see this alternator is original, it has never ever been touched, replaced, and it came from the factory Ford Motor Craft, and uh, yeah, you can see this kind of blackness at the back of the alternator, I would say probably brushes, they worn out, we can do more tests on alternator, or, and but it's unnecessary right now, we know we know we have everything to the alternator and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, put a new one and uh, bigger new part side by side with part you removed looks like they're identical, nice and by the way, this is a IC Delca approved there's a number and uh, yeah Time for a new one. I have a battery pack hooked up and my booster cables. Let's go and try to fire it up. We have to hooked up a battery charger and charge those batteries overnight and now we're putting a perfect voltage let's unhook our car and we still have 13.7 volts and I will call it fixed 
Thank you so much guys for watching. Very appreciated your time. If you like it, thumbs up. If it's helpful, subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.